Welcome to the Saudi Commission for Health Specialities Matching Portal. In this video, we're going to walk you through the registration, the verification, and the profile management process. Before we begin, let's take a look at the bottom of the page. You'll find the general queries email and telephone number. You'll also find the email for any technical support needed. In the middle section, you'll find links to frequently asked questions, the privacy policy, as well as the contact us page. And on the right hand side, you'll find links to our social media website, as well as the supported latest browsers, Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. You should only use the latest Google Chrome or Firefox web browsers from a desktop or laptop to apply. Do not use any other browsers or devices, including mobile devices, for the application process. So by clicking on the register page, we will arrive at the registration page. There are some mandatory fields which are denoted with a red star. There are also optional fields which you could fill in. So I'm going to start by filling in my name. Then I'm going to enter my email. And I verify my email. It's important that you enter your email correctly. The email will be used to access the matching portal after you register. You can enter the password. The password has to be a minimum of six characters with at least one capital letter, one small letter, and one number. And then confirm the password. And then enter your mobile number. It's very important to enter your mobile number correctly, as the mobile number and the email will be used in the verification process, as well as any communication going forward with the commission. And they're going to enter the capture. Click on register. As soon as you click on register, you will arrive at the verification page. In order to verify yourself, you will need to enter the SMS code that you have received on your mobile. If you have not received it, you can click on recent code. If you have entered your number correctly, you can click on change mobile number, enter the correct one, and then save, then click on recent code. And click on proceed. So your SMS is verified. Now we're going to get the email code. Enter my email code. Click on proceed. As soon as you are verified, you will be directed to the profile page. It's very important that you complete your profile in order to start your application. Your profile has to be 100% as denoted here on the right top corner. If this is not 100%, you will not be able to go to the profile to the application process page. So I'm going to start by filling the mandatory information. So the first question is, please answer yes or no to the following. Are you from Saudi or your mother is from Saudi, you're a GCC national or an immigrant tribe? If you click on yes, you'll need to choose one of the four items. So if you are from Saudi, automatically you'll be asked to enter your national ID. If your mother is Saudi, you'll need to specify whether you are a resident. If you are, then enter your Karma number. If you are not a resident, then you need to enter your passport number. If you are a GCC national, you need to enter your GCC ID or your passport number. Finally, if you're an immigrant tribe, you'll need to enter your immigrant reference number. If you don't have one, click on Not Available. So I'm going to click on From Saudi and enter the ID number.
and then you'll need to upload your national ID. The supported formats are the PDF, JPEG, or JPG. And the maximum size is one megabyte. Then you need to select your country of birth, your country of residence, and then your date of birth. See, as you go by filling in the information, the completion percentage starts to increase. Then you select your profession, and then answer the following question. Are you currently enrolled on any SCFHS training program? If no, then click on no. If yes, a past training program or a trainee, then you'll need to enter your trainee ID. Then attach a photo. Then upload your CV. The allowed extensions for the JP again are the JPG, JPEG, PDF, and the maximum size for the CV is 2 megabytes. Now, the name in English is the name that you have entered as part of the registration process. Then you can start by entering also your name in Arabic. So I'm going to enter my name in Arabic. And I'm going to choose a gender, male or female. See, now notice since I filled in all the required fields, my profile is 100%. Now, in order to go to the application, you have to click on Submit. As soon as you click on Submit, you'll receive a message, Profile submitted successfully. So I'm going to click on OK. And you'll be directed automatically to the application page. In order to go back to your profile, at the top right corner, you'll find a link called My Profile. So if you click on this, you'll be directed back to your profile page. Now, if I remove any of the required fields, such as the national ID, automatically the completion percentage will drop. And if I click on Submit, it will not take me to the application. It will ask me to enter the national or attach the national ID. The save button will only save the information in the system. However, once you are 100% completed, click on submit to go to the application page. This is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.